the definition, the very definition of seven dimensions of your life is about to change beyond recognition. And please quote me on this in three years' time. Okay? Freedom, accountability, human connection, economics, uh, reality, innovation, and power. Okay? And, and they're easier to understand in pairs. Right? So, so you, know, you start with the, the whole definition of intelligence and innovation is now completely changing because until a year ago, the most intelligent people could come up with the most in, in, innovative solutions. Today, our baseline intelligence compared to the augmentation that AI brings makes everyone capable of doing this. Right? Uh, 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 and so there is a complete re redefinition of the way things are being made and created. Even complex things like writing code, I'm, I'm an early uh, tester of, uh, of Manus. Oh my God, man, like it is, this is a team. I, I used to have a team of a thousand people doing this stuff. You can simply tell it, hey, c can, you, can you recreate Air Airbnb and poof, just reasons through it and, and creates it for you. Wow. Okay, and, and, and people are not aware of that enormous creative possibility, hmm? enormous productivity that happens. And, and the result of that is we all lose our jobs. The result of that is massive economic uh, co wealth concentration, right? So, so you know, I, I, this is very important for people to understand. The, the, the way, if you look at human history, uh, and, and, and you remember hunter-gatherers, right? The best hunter in the tribe could feed the tribe for a week more, right? Because, you know, the, the hunter's skill is, let's say, double the next hunter. Mm -hmm. But the automation is limited to a spear. That's the maximum automation he had, okay? The best farmer could feed the tribe for a whole season, right? Why? Because the automation is the soil. The soil is doing most of the work. Right? So whatever you know, uh, uh, um, skill the farmer has, if, if they knew how to use the automation properly, they would magnify their output massively. And, and of course, the reward followed. So the best hunter would be favored by four mates ten, instead of one. Okay? The best farmer had you know, farms and land and estates. The best industrialist had become a, a millionaire in the 1920s, multimillionaire. Right? And the best information technologists became billionaires, right. multi-billionaires. Right? So if you follow now, those who have the next wave of owning the platform, the digital soil, if you want, okay, they're capable of doing things that the rest of the world can't keep up with, right. with, that, with whether that's across nations mm, or across individuals or across businesses. Mm, there's going to be a massive concentration of wealth, massive, like you're going to see a trillionaire before the 2030s if the economies don't collapse. Maybe probably multiple ones. Multiple ones. So people are already can't get their heads around a wealth gap now, which is accelerating. Now it's about to go but, exponential. But, but it's important to understand that people like you and I who worked hard throughout our life, we would become bottom class like everyone else. Right. right? Because I, you're either in that top slot hmm, where you're aggregating all of the wealth through your ownership of the automation, okay? Or mm, you're, even if you have millions, you're nobody, right? Now, the, 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 the interesting side of this is it's quite, everything is a singularity, huh? So from one side, massive aggregation of wealth. From the other side, almost everyone out of a job, okay? And then between those two, mm, you have to question what would happen to economies. Right? Because economies today, as we said, are based on consumption. Okay? And so if you, if you remove consumption, hmm, you, you basically have no GDP, so the wealth cannot be created. So you have to keep consumption. How do you keep consumption? You reinvent the system okay, through UBI or whatever. How do you get out of a rat race? How do you create wealth not only for yourself, but also for the generations to come after? I am absolutely amazed with the quality of companies that we're getting exposure to. We go on to Zoom calls with the innovators and the folks who are building new applications in metaverse, blockchain, artificial intelligence, decentralized finance. What's going on, everybody? Thumbs up if you can see me. We are focusing on 
early stage investment. And the quality of people that we're getting exposure to, whether it be Dan Tapiero with 1RT, Jason Ma from Open, Yatsu from Anamoka. This has been a phenomenal experience thus far. It has far exceeded my expectations. We are focusing on cutting edge technologies. I view it now as the best investment I have ever made. The upside I view is unlimited. And as a retail investor, I would never get this exposure anywhere else outside of Investment Club. See you in the Investment Club. But then there is that ideological, because I hate to say this, hmm? but you know what UBI is? Communism. Okay? You're going to get in trouble for saying that? I don't know. I'm just telling the world what we're about to face. And that's an interesting ideological conversation that needs to be had. Is the U.S. government, for example, or the British government willing to say, all right, hold on, the machine will make everything and every citizen will get what they want. What was that called? Communism. Right? Or are we going to give everyone equal you know, uh, um, uh, income and what was that called? Socialism. Right? And by the way, I'm, I'm, I have no political ideology. I'm, I'm someone who chose early in life to, I, politics are too complex for me. But these are conversations to be had because they are likely going to take time and jobs are starting to be lost. Is, when is the government trying to, you know, going to look at that? And, and then, and then so, so I said, you know, there is a massive redefinition of intelligence, of innovation, that is leading to a massive re-intelligence of economics, yeah. right? Uh, uh, you know, add to that, of course, the current response of a, a trade war across the world and how the economics of the world are going through hyperinflation or about to go, I don't know, I hope not. Hmm? Call me an idiot. Hmm? But, then, but then, you know, add all of that complexity and some response needs to be discussed right now. Governments need to be sitting down and saying, are we going to, you know, have the Fed print money or is this going to be uh, a form of a tax uh, on the um, AI companies? What would happen if the AI companies are taxed? Would they move to the UAE and, and, and not pay taxes there? You know, it is very, very complex. And, and that's the easiest one. The, the more interesting one is the pair of power and freedom. Because, so, so, so the way power hmm, uh, has always, you know, been concentrated at the top, if you want, it's going to, like we said, with wealth, it's going to be massively concentrated, right? Those who control the platform control everything, right? But interestingly, at the same time, there's never born, been more democracy and prolification of power in history. Why? Because you and I have access to AI, because you and I have access to CRISPR and bio, bio, uh, uh, um, you know, biological technologies that can build a virus tomorrow. Open source, by the way. Hmm? And, and, and you and I have access to a tiny little drone hmm? uh, that proved very effective in the Ukraine war hmm? uh, or you know, in, in the Middle East wars. And, and, and it's quite interesting because uh, while I would not use any of that, Mm. Those in, in highly concentration, concentrated power positions would have panic attacks about the prolification and democracy of power. So what would be their response? Oppression. Right. Total absence of freedom. Right? And that freedom basically comes in the forms of we have control over your bank accounts, we have control, we have surveillance over everything that you do, uh, you know, we have control over what you say, uh, yeah. you know, if we have control over your movement, we have control, and, and more and more, hmm? once again, I say that with a smile, isn't that what the West was criticizing about China, for example, right? So if that's going to be your plan, is there anyone talking about this? And, and you see, in Alive, every six or 10 pages, I stop and I say, and you thought this was a book about AI, okay? It is the societal implications of AI hmm, that are not being discussed at all, okay? It is the evil of humanity, the magnification of a system that's not a system of equality, hmm, using AI that we need to be concerned, of, uh, concerned with, right? Uh, face our IPs. Huh? So, so we, we spoke about freedom and power, yeah. innovation. Uh, uh, okay, yeah, and then R, R and C. R and C are just, my God, reality, 
the redefinition of reality because you and I now know it's almost impossible to know what's real anymore, yeah. whether that's through deep fake and all of the stuff that is normally getting the headlight, uh, headline around reali what reality is, how reality is being redefined, but more interestingly about mind, mind manipulation. Because understand that five years ago, four years ago, or what year now? No, three years ago. Hmm? Uh, um, you, you wanted to know something, you went to Google, you asked a question, Google gave you a billion responses basically said, this is all that we could find about what you asked for. Read all of it and make up your mind. Right. What true is. Okay? That's not the case anymore. We go to a chat GPT today and we go like, who's Mogao that's wife? And chat GPT will give you one answer. And that answer is wrong. Interesting. Mm -hmm. Okay? And yet, for most people, it will be seen as reality. And by the way, more and more it will not be wrong. Hmm? But it will be biased. Yeah. <laughs> Hey, I know investing in crypto is scary. It takes a real leap of faith because there are so many scams, rug pulls, and bad actors out there. It's a dangerous business, which is why 95% of people lose all their money. Well, that's why I created the London Real Investment Club, so you can access the hottest deals on the planet and use the crypto bull market to create the generational wealth that you deserve. Join my team of over 100 people from around the world that are making millions of dollars behind the scenes investing in blockchain, AI, Web3 games, DeFi, Bitcoin, and more. Don't miss out. Click the link below to book a call with one of my team now. But hurry, this bull market will end soon. I know investing crypto can be scary. That's why you gotta join the investment club. Pull the trigger, let's do this.